hope you're fine so in this video i'm going to show you how to lock and unlock the bootloader on a samsung phone so right now i'm using a samsung phone with a locked or default bootloader i should say and i'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader on this thing first and then i'm going to also show you how to lock that bootloader again all right first go into phone settings and then into about phone and from here go into software information all right and then go into the build number and click it continuously for seven times and after doing this there will be a command saying developer mode has been enabled so go back back and after you scroll down a bit more you will see developer options so just click on those and you scroll down and see where it says OME unlocking so click on this and enable it and then go over scroll a bit down and also turn on USB debugging also click on ok so now what after doing this just power off your phone and now you need a computer and a f uh, data cable alright I'm not doing anything on computer but we just need computer to get into a menu on our phone all of the rest of the thing is completely doing by this phone all right got a computer and what we need to do is we're going to need a data cable connect the one end on our computer do not connect it first on your phone all right what we need to do is we're going to be pressing volume up and volume down both at the same time and then we're going to be inserting our usb cable first hold these buttons and then insert the cable all right so three two one both buttons holding and then insert the cable keep holding those two buttons all right so here we are on our warning screen this is the main screen you want to see and already it serves if you long press the volume up button the phone will go into unlock mode which is obviously boot or unlock now we can already disconnect the cable now our computer work is completely done what we're going to do is we're going to be pressing the volume up button continuously as it already told on the screen so i'm now continue pressing it wait for seven seconds maximum all right as you can see now it says unlock bootloader now we have got two options but and which one first one is to click on volume up button to unlock and volume down so that it does not unlock and then it will restart your phone and will boot normally all right and it also says unlocking the bootloader may also void your warranty so do it on your own risk so we're going to be pressing volume up button once all right we have pressed it and now the phone will restart all of your data will also be removed here as you can see the bootloader has been successfully unlocked now we're going to be doing is we're gonna press volume up once all right now phone will restart normally already as i told you the data is completely removed so the phone will be in our as you can see erasing so data is completely erased right now and once you boot every time you boot your phone you can see this warning so that you just have to press volume up buttons every time all right i think i have to press harder yeah now the phone is restarting and it will actually boot into the welcome screen then we will set it up and then i'm going to also show you how to in this video only how to again lock your bootloader all right so we're going to just wait for it to restart the welcome screen now we're going to be starting the process setup process also you have to connect to your wi-fi first time because if you don't do this then you will not be able to uh, un again lock your bootloader all right so just for that purpose you have to connect to wi-fi all right so let me just connect to wi-fi and then we will proceed so as you can see we are back on our home screen now let me show you what we need to do now you're going to go back into your phone setting right now my phone uh, booth order is unlocked as you already saw now we're gonna go back into our phone set about phone and then software information obviously and we have to do the same thing we have to uh, click on the build number several times 
and then it will say developer mode has been enabled so we can go back go back go back and then we will, where was about phone we're gonna scroll a bit down and then we will see develop options so click on that scroll down a bit now as you can see there's no OEMI unlock option showing which means our phone is completely boot bootloader is unlocked so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be just uh, power off our phone back again the same we did earlier and now we're gonna go connect to a computer again same way pressing both volume ups and then inserting the usb cable all right so again i've got my laptop here it's already connected one end is connected onto my computer while other is free it's not plugged in into our phone we're gonna press the volume up buttons at the same time and then insert the cable so hold power buttons insert the cable keep holding wait then you will see the uh, warning screen again i know now it's all seems familiar now what we need to do is again we're going to be uh, pressing the volume up button long press all right now it's not just click once it's long press it so we're going to long press it now as you can see lock bootloader now we can lock the bootloader again but make sure it will be locking the bootloader again as we know it is also going to remove all of our data so just make sure you back up your data before unlocking and even after unlocking before unlocking you have to back up all of your data so now we're just gonna press the volume up once and now we are good to go our bootloader is again locked as you can see now we didn't got any warning screen of like to when I press the volume up button once or something like that because now it's completely again relocked so now we don't need our computer and now our phone will restart let me show you that in a minute we'll go back to welcome screen then we have to uh, again complete the welcome screen then I will show you what happened next all right so here we are back now we have set it up the phone and now we are back in business now our phone is again locked boot for locked so you guys i also want to tell you one more thing uh after you set up or uh, after locking the bootloader you're going to do one more thing remember when we were unlocking the phone unlocking the bootloader what we did we enabled uh, developers options by going into software information by clicking build number several times and development option we have enabled two options there OEM unlocking and usb debugging am i right so we have to also disable the OEM unlocking here you can see in the developer options OEM unlocking is enabled so we and also says allows the bootloader to be unlocked now the bootloader is locked but we don't even want it to be unlocked so because this is the default setting for some reason so we have to do this and now we have to restart this phone to use device features protection features because if we don't disable this device security features might not work properly all right and we have also enabled usb debugging but it's already disabled so no need to enable or disable anything like that other than that don't touch anything and after uh closing after turning off the oem unlocking you can even also close the entire developer options all right after locking the booth order, most people ask me that we are not seeing this option at all so the thing you need to do is you need to connect to the Wi-Fi first and then you have to go into your phone settings and then do a software update and then click on download and install make sure you are on the latest update if you are not then down, up, down and then install the latest update and then you will see this option pop up randomly I don't know why is it but that's the only reason All right now my software is updated that's why I saw the option after you turn it off just give your phone a restart and you are all good to go and I hope I've uh, given you valuable knowledge and it has helped you in any way then don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video again thanks for watching I will meet you in my next video goodbye for now